Hey guys, welcome to another video on our helpful tools. Sorry it's been a while, I've just I've been kind of out of the works here, but I've been looking at different things and kind of learning some new stuff on my own. And uh, I'll, uh, once I get done with a lot of that, I'll then share it all to you guys. So in, without further ado, I'm going to do kind of a quick video right now. Um, we're going to do um, the voltage controlled switch. Uh, which is one thing that's kind of nice to play with. Sometimes you need a switch in your circuit, just a hard, you know, switching action. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you today. We're going to grab ourselves a new file, and then we're going to issue the SW command, which is the, the switch. And we're going to go ahead and build just kind of a simple circuit out of this. Um, a voltage source here, and it is driven by a voltage source is kind of a nice thing because then you can take advantage of all those cool functions that the uh, voltage source has like the like the piecewise linear the uh, oh whatever it is uh, the sine wave the pulse functions kind of all that cool stuff that you get with the uh, with a voltage source so what I'm doing now is I'm cooking up grounds uh, you have to have a ground for this guy, otherwise he doesn't function properly. I know that doesn't make sense since it's a source going in there, but you do. It has to have a reference. I'm going to go ahead and name this. This is generic. I'm going to call it my SW. Um, let's give ourselves, I don't know, 2 ohms, maybe 12 volts. So we get 6 amps going through here. Alright. <coughs> now, what this is, is um, we are going to then have to code a model for this switch and have to do this just for those of you that want to see it if you type in yeah SW into your search here and open up the dot model command or actually the voltage controlled switch the S it will tell you the different uh, model parameters that you have that you can set like threshold voltage, hysteresis voltage, on resistance, off resistance, series inductance, just all that stuff that you can set. And what you have to do is you call the dot model command, you call the name of your switch, and then you call this SW command. And then you set the parameters. <coughs> then just like calling a function like in C or something. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go up to our spice directive. We're going to type dot model. We're going to say my switch. Um, this is an SW command. And now we're going to say on resistance. Um, let's set very, very low. This is like a variable resistor. Um, so uh, it's not a hard, like an actual s like severing of the circuit, so to speak. So you have to keep that in mind with some circuits that actually have to have an actual broken connection. Um, those are a little more tricky to deal with, whereas this is an easy way to do this. The resistance can never be zero. You can't leave it zero because that'll leave undefined in the uh, iteration calculation. So you, if it has to be zero, then set it to something like just crazy close to zero, something just crazy like this, like, you know, s like super, super small, um, like even maybe one, e one femto ohm or something like that if it has to be if you're really wanting a zero there for our case you know 100 milli ohms is good enough and then you're going to have the r off condition which you want to be super high resistance we'll just use a giga ohm and for our example we'll do a threshold voltage of 5 volts okay so now we'll put that model command down here and then we're going to right click on this and this we're now going to take advantage of our piecewise linear we're going to say initially everything's zero. Then after 25 milliseconds, it's still zero. That gives us some delay so we can see it switch. And at 25.1 milliseconds, or basically 100 microseconds later, we're then going to switch to 5 volts. So we should see a good pulse, just a jump up pulse um, we should see um, when we measure this. Let's go ahead and hit simulate. Um, we're doing it after 25, so let's go um, oh, 100, oops, 100 milliseconds. So now, so now if we measure this, we'll see that we got this nice little jump, jump up to 5 volts. And if we add a plot plane here and we measure our current, our current follows it. And same thing, jumps up. And that's basically how to do 
a voltage controlled switch. You can have um, you can use the different uh, shapes of this. Usually the pulse works just fine. Um, um, that's usually what I most of the time use. Uh, it's a very slick little way of doing this. Um, there's a way, I'll have to get back to you guys on this, I can't remember how to do it but, um, right this second, but there's a way that you can do kind of like a ramp function with this and get this to become like a variable resistor, but I don't remember exactly um, the directive how to do that because if we did that like now, like let's say we take this off um, and we say just after 25 milliseconds we're going to have a ramp over 25 milliseconds it'll still impulsively turn on because we've got a threshold voltage of 5 volts so we hit run we'll see that it ramps but it doesn't do anything until it reaches its threshold voltage um, now its threshold voltage by default is zero I know many of you are probably thinking we'll just leave off the threshold voltage well you could but the only problem with that is, is that then it will immediately switch on at the beginning <coughs> because the default is zero. So at zero volts, it's on. So we don't want that. Well, at least the threshold of five. So anyway, like I said, there is a way to do this. Um, I, I'll have to look it back up. I don't remember exactly how to do that. I know another way that you can do a variable resistor. That's a way of cheating, <laughs> so to speak is, um, I'll just go ahead and show you that too, why not, we'll put that in here too, um, is you're going to do something completely different, take this out, we still want this voltage source though, but remember, SPICE is just a math program, so you can use math and just label things and make it work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a label, so I'm going to call this um, VAR, let's say, the source is now called bar. And now this voltage source is going to represent now. Now we're going to represent um, not a voltage, but we're going to represent the whatever the voltage this is. We're going to say in curly braces now, R is equal to bar. Close curly braces. So what that means is the resistance of this is going to equal this voltage here. So now, let's say I want to run this from, oh, I don't know, our initial value is, oh, let's say, let's say it's 5 ohms to 10 ohms, okay, over the course of 25 milliseconds, okay, let's hit play, oh, I typed that in wrong, yes, 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 I know, I take it back, I don't think you need the R, I think you just say bar. Oops, that's not right. Hang on just one second, bear with me. Let's see. Okay, I, oh, I remember what it is. I apologize. It's actually R equals the voltage at bar. Okay. I think that's right. Yeah. Let's give that a shot. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. So now, what's going to happen is see where V at bar, it's our voltage at bar going on a ramp. Now, if we look at like our current through here, whee, our current does that. And it should now. Does that make sense? Should it? Yes, because this is increasing in resistance, our current's going to go down. Now, here's a here's a quick little trick if you want to if you want to check check to see what the resistance is here. Well, remember our good old Ohm's laws, V equals IR, so uh, V over I is R, right? So we take the voltage, okay. Right click on this. And remember this is all this is just math. We say divided by the I at R2. Hit OK. Here's the resistance. It's even in ohms. Let's get rid of this. <coughs> so look at that, isn't that cool? So there's the resistance. See the resistance changing? So there's your resistance changing. You can do this with anything. You do this with uh, with an exponential. Let's say we have an exponential, and we go um, up to uh, 10 ohms. Uh, yeah, 25 minutes in. The rise tau is going to be in 10 milliseconds. Okay. Uh, go. Oh, and our time step's too small now. So it's 
going to give us that problem. Um, let's see, the rise tail, uh, we could do um, no delay, and then the course of 25 milliseconds. Let's see if it'll do that. Yeah, it, it likes that. So basically we have this type of thing going on. Um, I don't know why it's negative. I'll have to research my exponential. Uh, exponential function because this is, this guy isn't doing what I want it to be doing but but you basically get the gist of it um, it's kind of late when I'm doing this video right now so <laughs> bear with me um, but basically that's that's what the deal is that's how it works um, you can basically make a resistor uh, variable resistor by just doing that I'm saying it's equal to equal to your var and then you've got your voltage here like I said again, you just divide by I at R2. And that will give you your resistance. And now you can measure resistance. Pretty cool. Well, hopefully those are some helpful dealies. Um, made, a made this video really quick. I got some other stuff coming. Like I, like I said, I promise that I'll do basically like the Monte Carlo type thing. Um, it's kind of like an imitation Monte Carlo kind of worst case analysis. You can <clears throat> have it randomly pick values that are within your tolerance um, that w for your different resistors and capacitors and whatnot, and to simulate kind of a real world, you know, uh, type deal how you get resistors that that might be plus or minus five percent and anywhere, you know, they might be five percent to the positive, five percent to the negative, or somewhere in the middle, and you can have uh, this do this kind of a manual way. So be on the lookout for that video. I'll be posting that next. Um, a couple other things I want to do with LT Spice, and then we'll move on to another helpful tool and kind of finish off <coughs> this uh, helpful tool section. So, hope you enjoy it. Take care.